Hello everybody and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront Fighter video. In this video we are taking a look at the bomber class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. I will be going over all of the bombers available in the beta, which is the Hyena class bomber for the Confederacy of Independent Systems, the Y-Wing for the Republic, the Y-Wing for the Rebellion, and the TIE bomber for the Empire. The bomber class is the class you want to pick if you want to play the objective and destroy enemy capital ships and enemy transports. They are extremely effective at damaging these objectives, but they are not as effective at full fight or combat, meaning that you must have an escort with you if you're playing as a bomber, because you aren't very maneuverable, and if someone gets behind you, you will most likely die to them. But the bombers are equipped with many heavy weapons, useful for dealing damage, on capital ships. Starting with the Republic, their bomber playable in the beta was the BTLB Y Wing. This Y Wing is the predecessor to the Rebellion's Y Wing, and this is when the Y Wing was really at its prime before it was disassembled and mangled up for the Rebellion. It has three abilities. Its first is Astromech Repair, this instantly restores a small amount of lost health. An ion cannon turret, and this activates the ion turret which fires at the locked target causing low damage while reducing the target speed for a short time, and this fires by itself, so when you activate it, it will lock onto a target and fire at them freely. And it has dual proton torpedoes, and this fires two missiles simultaneously which track the target and deal high damage. Next is the Hyena class bomber, and they are for the droids, and they are designed for heavy ordnance bombing runs against the Republic. This vehicle is armed with proton bombs, proton torpedoes, concussion missiles, and two light laser cannons. The Hyena bomber has three abilities, just like every other ship. The first is electronic countermeasures. This activates electronic countermeasures that break and prevent targeting and missile locks for a short period of time. This is very useful to use if you're being followed, because you're not as maneuverable, you can activate this ability and the enemy will not be able to lock onto you. Its next ability is the multi-missile lock. This instantly locks onto and fires a missile at up to three different targets in front of the player. So if you are flying and there are three ships coming towards you, if you activate this ability, it will lock onto them automatically and fire a missile at all three of them. And the last ability is the dual proton torpedoes, and this fires two missiles simultaneously which track the lock target and deal high damage just like the Y-Wing. This plays just like the Y-Wing except on Theed, there is no huge objective for the droids to attack, so this is good for bombing runs on the main streets of Theed against clones who may try to use an ion disruptor on the MTT. The Rebellion's bomber is returning from Star Wars Battlefront 2015, and it is the Y-Wing, and it is playable this time around, of course, because the Rebellion needs a bomber. It has astromech repair, ion cannon turret, and dual proton torpedoes, just like the Republic's version of the Y-Wing. And this is useful in the battle above Fondor in Starfighter Assault for attacking the Imperial Light Cruisers in Phase 1, the shield generators in Phase 2, and the docking clamps and reactor in Phase 3. And last but definitely not least is the TIE Bomber for the Galactic Empire. This one plays very similarly to the Hyena Bomber. Uh, for the Separatists, and they share abilities, being electronic countermeasures, multi-missile lock, and dual proton torpedoes. I used the TIE Bomber in Phase 1 of Galactic Assault above Fondor, because when the Y-Wing uh, phases came in, I could use the multi-missile lock and dual proton torpedoes to take them out before they even got to their targets, and I could also use this against the, uh, the Rebellion's Corvettes, because of all the missiles and heavy blaster damage that the bomber could take out. Now this will complete the Starfighter guide for Star Wars Battlefront 2, so now I'll be moving on to the ground vehicles that were playable in the beta, and this will hopefully last me until the game comes out where I will be doing the campaign first. So until the next video, may the force be with you.